Hello, Roly family. My name is Dimitri, and this video is about calibrating our camera for the Lasermatic series, lasers. So I'm going to share you my screen, get down to it right away. So first things first, we have Lightburn booted up. We have our laser, the MK2 M12. Mine's on COM4. Yours could be on a different COM. It doesn't really matter as long as we're seeing it later. So we're going to right-click over our video feed, and we're going to import camera settings. Now, you should have a folder already made for your camera with the factory lens in it. So I'm going to double-click on that, and there's my factory lens profile. Double-click on factory lens profile, and I will update overlay. Try and have your feed, your fade off. This will help you immensely when you're uh, doing your crosshairs, basically. So back into the camera feed, right-click on that, and we're going to calibrate camera alignment, the last selection in the window. We're going to select the overhead camera, select our HDR camera, and click on Next. The material I'm using is 3 millimeters, and since I have my 30 watt, I'm going to bump this up to 8,000 speed. And I'm going to go up to 80 watts. Uh, 80 watts, 80% 80 power. And our scale should be at 187. 187. And here's our air assist on. And as you can see, I have four, four by four pieces in each corner of the honeycomb grid. I'm going to go ahead and frame. All righty. And I'm going to start the process. This will take uh, about three minutes. So if you don't mind waiting with me. And we're done. So we're going to go ahead and click on next. We're going to capture our image. And go ahead and click on next. So you see everything's kind of warped over here. A lot of fish eyes. It's different. It's angled. So click on next. And what we want to do is we want to zoom in one through four. All the way zoom in. And we want to put it perfectly right there with a double click. So if you hold your control key and move your mouse around, it's a lot more smoother and you get very, very precise with this. Again, control key and double click for your crosshair. So you can see I'm off. You see that red line? I'm off. I know I'm off, even on the bottom and on the top. So I'm going to undo last and try this again. This is usually the hardest one. Now, again, we're off. That looks a little bit better. We're still off so it's not a uh, even an expert over here is gonna have some situation I think there is good no it's not <laughs> so we'll try 
That's a lot better. Yeah, seat number four is off. Everything else is straight. And in fact, there's the culprit right there. Number one is actually off. You can tell. See how the line there is a little squiggly? So we're going to undo all and start all over again. And let's get this right this time around. That looks much better. I lost it. There it is. That's very good. So it gives you a nice 45. You can tell that you're actually angled properly second time around the first time around it will not give you that 45 only when you go a second time around and let's see if i can get this bang on no nope, that's off so this see again i'm off let me go over there and that's straight. That's a lot better. A little bit more over. Yep, that looks a lot better. And so we got our box. All we gotta do is go ahead and click on next and then finish and then save back to camera control and save and then right click over the display and export our camera settings. And you're gonna write three millimeter, basically right here, files file name. And you're gonna save it. For me, it's gonna ask me to replace it and I will say yes. So just to confirm how accurate this is, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna import my setting, three millimeter, I'm gonna do an update overlay. There are my circles. So you can see the grid is perfect. Nice and straight all the way around. So I'm gonna grab now, I'm gonna make a little circle, hold my shift key, that way it's 100% straight. And the actual number of the size of the circle is 39.5 millimeter. Okay. So I'm going to select this as a line. And bring it over right here. So let's zoom in. and place it right on top. And again, hold down your control key. Makes it much easier. And I think I'm pretty bang on right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and home my laser, which is already homed. And I'm gonna ask it to frame. And I'm gonna ask it to engrave. So now we're going to do another update overlay. And 
and there you are. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So here's the actual finished result. That's uh, very, very accurate, I believe. 